New York Fashion Week may have come and gone, but there were some key trends that were shown on those runways that are definitely worth taking note of. Hi, I'm Leone and welcome to my channel. I spent 20 years working in women's magazines, both here in New Zealand and also in Australia, with seven of those editing New Zealand's top selling fashion magazine, Fashion Quarterly. When I left magazines, I started this YouTube channel so that I could share my passion for fashion with you. I also love a good shortcut, so consider this channel your shortcut to style. Now, New York Fashion Week is one of the most exciting times on the fashion calendar, and I was eagerly watching to see what the designers were showcasing for spring summer next year. Now I know that that's a long way off and fall in the northern hemisphere hasn't even really hit yet but I think it's really worthwhile taking note of what some of the trends are that are hitting our way and hopefully if you own some of these pieces it will mean that you'll hold on to them you won't get rid of them in a hurry because it's a new season and also just to get you a little bit excited because there are some fabulous trends that I think you will love so let's get on with some of the key trends that I've picked from the runways because I think that they are fun, they're versatile, and they're just going to be, I think there's just gonna be something there for everyone. One of the favorite trends that I saw at New York Fashion Week were sets. Now we've seen a lot of sets in the last couple of seasons, so short sets, skirt sets, I love them because they are versatile. You can wear them together. So you have an outfit without having to think about it, but you can also wear these pieces separately. What I did see at New York Fashion Week was the sets were really colorful and vibrant and utilizing beautiful patterned fabric as well. Now, when I've seen these two piece sets in the last couple of seasons, they've been very plain. Yes, they have been colorful, but generally fairly plain. So it seems like designers have just taken the, the set, which has been really popular and just made it even a little bit more fun and a little bit more fancy and injected some color and life into them with some interesting fabrics. So these were definitely probably the most fun for me to see on the runway. Next up, what I saw and I really loved were a whole collection of statement belts. There were some beautiful belts with gorgeous large buckles, but not sort of chunky buckles. They were large, but they were sort of fine buckles. There were some rope style tie belts. There were belts with cute little purses dangling from them. There were even belts that I saw teamed and worn with bodycon style knit dresses. So it seems as though the accessory for the season next spring summer is an interesting belt. Now, I think that belts are great for two key reasons. One, they do add an extra layer and an extra level of interest to an outfit. But two, on a more practical note, they are great for giving some of your pieces a little bit more shape. Now you will know over the last few seasons, we've seen a lot of oversized pieces. So belting these pieces is really flattering for any silhouette. So I love the addition of belts in lots of the spring summer designers collections because they just add that really lovely silhouette. So especially given that we have been wearing a lot of oversized pieces, it's really nice to sort of nip things in and see some shape again. So there were some beautiful belts for you to keep an eye out for. Now also I need your help. I saw a YouTuber recently create a video and I loved watching it and thought that I would maybe do something similar here. And what she did was she asked her subscribers to send in photos of themselves and then she restyled some of their outfits. Now it wasn't about saying that what they had done was wrong, it was just about giving them some different and new options for styling. And I thought that could be a really fun thing for us to do over here as well. So what I would need from you if you were keen to take part in this particular video is just to send me a photograph of yourself. You can either email it to me, I will leave my email down below, or you could slide into my DMs over on Instagram and DM me a photograph of yourself. All I would need is your height because obviously that comes into play with styling and what you would like your outfit to be used for, whether it's a work outfit or smart casual or if you're a stay-at-home mum and you want a look that is going to look stylish but also be practical. So I just need a little 
couple of words, a little bit of information on what you would like the outfit to do for you. And then I would showcase those photos and give a few different options in terms of styling. And I think we could have a little bit of fun with it. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you would like to do. Please don't be shy. I won't be, it's not about saying this is wrong and this is right. It's just about giving some options. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you think this is a fun idea. And also, yeah, email me your photos and send them to me via Instagram as well. I will leave the links and a little bit more information in the description box below, but I think this could be fun and I would love to know what you think of this idea. Next up, there were a lot of bubblegum hems. Now, I actually didn't even know what to call these, so I had to kind of go online and see what some of the key online fashion websites were calling them, but they were calling them bubble hem. So instead of the hem just being finished and ending, the fabric on these skirts was being rolled under and creating a bubble effect, which was really fun and feminine and just something a little bit more interesting. I think we've seen a lot of pleated skirts and long sort of column style maxi skirts in the last couple of seasons. So to see this new interpretation of a skirt and it's such a feminine look was really refreshing. Some of the bubble skirts also had quite a bit of volume to them, some not so much. In fact, I saw a number of wrap style skirts with that bubble sort of detail on the hem. Again, it's a fairly small trend, but one that I think is just a nice departure from where we've been and just a lovely feminine update. The next trend that I saw quite a few designers include in their collections was fringing detail. And I love the fact that they didn't go over the top with fringing, although in saying that I did see a couple of designers create some or include some fringed dresses into their collections, which were really long fringes. But on the whole, most of the designers tended to add fringing detail to wrap skirts and to little jackets and blazers. So I think the addition of just some touches of fringing, and the fringing was fine as well, so perfect for the warmer months, but I think that fringing just adds a little bit of movement to a piece, and in turn that just adds some interest to an outfit. That texture as well is also a nice thing to see. So the fringing detail really struck a chord with me and I'm definitely going to be here for it. Now next up there were a lot of sequins on the runway and I'm always in two minds about sequins. The inner magpie in me absolutely loves them but I'm also really aware that any sequined pieces make such a statement that they do tend to be pieces that you don't tend to grab for on a really regular basis. So getting that cost per wear with sequin pieces is not always easy, but I don't want to put a, a dampener on such a fun trend. So sequins were everywhere. There were some beautiful maxi sequin skirts. There were some larger sequined mini style skirts, there were sequined dresses, jackets, you name it. There were some really beautiful sequined pieces. Overall, what I did see was lots and lots of sequined skirts. So I think if you love anything that shines and sparkles, then sequins are going to be just the ticket for spring, summer next year. And that leads in really nicely to the next trend, which is metallic knits. And I have talked about metallic knits in the last couple of weeks, months, because I've definitely seen them being incorporated a little bit more. I think these pieces are really fun. They are basically taking a classic piece, which is a knit, and just adding a little bit of something to make them something more extra. And I love that. I love the fact that these pieces can be easily teamed with some of the classic basic pieces that you already own. So they're a good piece just to buy and update your closet so that you give 
all of those key pieces that you love, a, a little bit of an update and a freshen up, and you can create some modern, really pretty outfits with them. So keep an eye out on these metallic knits, which in my opinion are just really, really special. Now I was trying to pinpoint a particular color for the season and I did see a lot of purple on the runway, but I couldn't really just narrow it down to one color because what I did see were lots and lots of bright colors being showcased. Everything from beautiful tangerines, there was also a lot of bright greens, yellow, there was definitely purple, there were bright reds, there were some beautiful blues also showcased on the runways which I thought were lovely. So the season, if I had to talk about the season in a colour, it would be beautiful, bold, bright colours. It seems as though we all just can't get enough of these colours and there seems to be almost a bit of a divide that you wear a lot of bold colour or you wear neutrals. Either is fine, but if you do want to combine the two, adding some of those beautiful brights to your neutrals is a really easy way just to freshen up and give your outfits a little bit of an extra punch. Now, I'm not sure how you're going to feel about this, but there were also a lot of oversized blazers. Now, it seems the trend for oversized blazers is not going anywhere fast, but there was a difference with the spring blazers, spring, summer. A lot of them that I saw were embellished, so they had either sequin detailing on the lapels or diamantes or some some type of embellishment that just made them a little bit extra. In fact, if I think about the collections as a whole, it seems as though designers are just taking some key pieces and trends that we have seen over the last few seasons and just elevating them and giving that giving them that little bit more of a, a kick, if you will. So there were lots and lots of embellished blazers. There were some metallic blazers as well. There was a beautiful gold long coat that I saw. And yeah, there were some really interesting takes on our oversized blazers. And I think going back to what I talked about earlier, the statement belts, this is where some of these beautiful finer belts are going to come into play because they will give some of these oversized pieces a little bit more structure and a little bit more shape. But oversized blazers, boyfriend style blazers aren't going anywhere. They're just being amplified with interesting and sparkly embellishments. Next up, I saw some beautiful rosettes, which were so making me think of Sarah Jessica Parker and Sex in the City. And I remember actually having one of these rosettes that I used to wear proudly on blazers and shirts, but these rosettes just kept popping up as a really lovely detail, a lovely accessory on on skirts, shorts, jackets, shirts. In fact, I saw one on a beautiful dress. So some of these lovely rosette details that were very much channeling sex in the city were just a lovely addition to create a sort of a feminine accessory for spring summer. One of the trends that I did see and I really loved was almost a tablecloth slash embroidery pieces, embroidery sort of fabric pieces. Now, I'm probably not explaining it well, but I'll be showing you images here on the screen. These beautiful loose weave knit style dresses and tops, which are super elegant. They're almost boho, but what I did see was a little bit more I suppose sophisticated than kind of a classic boho styling. They are not going to be for everyone obviously but I definitely think that there were enough of them on show to include in today's episode and I can definitely see some of these pieces being worn really beautifully as a top under a blazer with some lovely wide-legged linen pants over spring summer. I do think there are some really good options there with them. As I said, they're not it for everyone, but they're so pretty, I just had to include them. Now this one will probably divide you as well, but cargo pants seem to be everywhere. But again, cargo pants have been given a little bit of a zhuzh up as well. I saw some cargo pants in shiny fabrics, some really oversized kind of parachute style cargo pants, 
really sort of special cargoes. So they almost are moving away from the that classic camo and khaki color to something that was a little bit more fun, vibrant colors, shiny fabrics, and certainly oversized, which again is, is definitely more on point for spring summer. But yeah, it was just so interesting to see that the cargoes were still going strong next year, but just amplified like so many of the, of the other trends that I saw. Now, last but not least, there were quite a few polka dots as well that I saw going down the runways. Now, not a huge amount, and I did wonder whether I should actually even include them in today's video, but I do think that there are a lot of you out there that love polka dots and so for those of you that do you'll be pleased to know that there are polka dots coming in for spring summer next year and I think that that's part of following some of the trends as well. All it does is give you a heads up that if you like these particular trends, there are going to be more options for you come the new season. So there will be some polka dot options. I always think of that pretty woman scene with Julia Roberts at the races when I think polka dots, but they are classic, they're timeless, they're definitely feminine. And I think that they're a nice change from florals for spring, summer. So polka dots are definitely a happening look for the new year as well. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. I certainly had fun putting it together and it was a really nice opportunity for me to share some of the key fashion trends that I saw and thought were notable at the recent New York Fashion Week. But if you did enjoy this one, maybe give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I will see you real soon. Bye for now.